Many teachers in Christianity teach that salvation is not by works. For by grace you have been saved and not by works. This is not your own. Uh, and so they tell the people, don't work. Don't do tracks. Uh, don't exercise your, 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 your spirit. Um, uh, don't uh, um, do any good works. You know, you don't have to do anything. You just go and sit on your couch, watch your television, and come to church and tithe. And, and we'll do the rest. That's what they teach to the people. What Paul was saying, and to the shame and confusion of, of, of Christians, they, they, they eat it up. They like it. What Paul was is saying, what he, what he was saying is that he's, he was talking about burnt animal sacrifices. Because Jesus the Christ became the last sacrifice to God. So the burnt animal sacrifice part of the Torah, of the law, has been done away with. Anyone who offers God a burnt animal sacrifice is, is under a curse. Those are the works that, that God uh, is, is saying through his divine word uh, in the Holy Bible. That's what he was talking about, uh, the works of burnt animal sacrifices. Paul was continuously refuting the Jews regarding that. And that's what he was talking about. Uh, the Bible is clear. We have works to do with God. We have spiritual works to do. We have to exercise our spirits. Hebrew says to go outside the camp and minister there. Jesus said to go to all the nations and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God says to go on the highways and byways. God says to go, cast out demons. He sent his disciples out, gave them instructions. Uh, they were ministering the word. Uh, uh, Apostle Paul set up all these different communities. And uh, uh, the, the disciples, they went through the ends of the earth, throughout the four corners of the earth, scattered abroad as the four winds of heaven, uh, to minister to all the people throughout the world. And we are here doing this again today. This is where, what we are to do. And ministry takes work. And our work to God is, is also to discipline our carnal desires. To break an, an addiction such as uh, uh, marijuana, cigarettes, alcohol, all these physical addictions and sins um, is, is work. It takes We have to go through those withdrawals. He's not going to go through the withdrawals for us. We have to go through the withdrawal. He'll meet us halfway. He might make it a little bit easier depending on our situation with him. And then he'll completely take it away. But we, we have to go through that ourselves. That takes work. That takes a lot of work. After the physical sins are dealt with, we need to get rid of the spiritual sins. We have pride, arrogance, jealousy, hatred, strife, lying, false witness, division. All these things that Christians are doing, destroying each other, that need to be purged out of the soul. That takes work. That takes a lot of prayer. That takes spiritual fire. Jesus said, I'm going to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. That's the fire part. It's going to put you down and get you repenting. Get you right on your face with God. That God will purge you as that is happening without you knowing it. We need to get there in the first place. If we're not moaning and groaning over our own sins. We're not working to please God spiritually. And we need to get rid of a lot of the physical sins before we can even get to that stage in our walk with God. In the purging process, the process of consecration to God. That takes work. That takes a lot of work. Uh, so, I hope I hope you're edified, and uh, uh, God bless you. Amen.